He be always catching me. When I'm doing <laughs> always catch me. You can't count that against me. I'm not gonna count against you. I, I am. I am. However, we're gonna count these two on the floor down here. Well, yeah, you count them. <laughs> you count them. I've been there. You right? I'm gonna count them down. You count them. You count them. Which two you see? This one way by the plug over. I see that one over there. Yeah. You must saw this one here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. I can't even sneak this one back. Right <laughs> I didn't think you saw that one. Okay. My deckies. My deckies. My deckies. <laughs> As you know, you you and Coach Brian got a lot in common. One of which is gonna make up a song about anything. Like every, everything is a tune. Everything is a tune, man. <laughs> every, think about it like this: Would you rather know every language in the world to mm -hmm. communicate, or would you rather know how to play an instrument or make music? Oh, music. Music, right? Yeah, universal language. It's universal language, yeah. man. So, you know. You find something, somebody say something, yeah. you can make it into a little tune. Yeah, me and you were sitting, first trip out here, uh, my first trip out here for sure, you and I were sitting down for breakfast, and you asked for avocado, and then you started singing avocado in Colorado. Avocado in Colorado, <laughs> hey, avocado in Colorado. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we used to learn, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, that is how you learn. Yeah. yeah. Pre-K, kindergarten, first grade, everything Come on, so. Man. Everything a song, yeah. man. Everything a song. <laughs> My life is a song. Yeah. You, know? you got your R and B, got your hip hop, heavy metal, yeah. your alternative, your country. It's all in there, man. You it is all in there, man. Rhythm and blues, neo soul. Yeah. You know, sometimes you get down to the hard you got sitting by the dock of the bay. That's mm -hmm. the old school. Yeah. Man. Yeah. The old red man. Oh, they don't know about that. No, they don't. They're going to learn, though. They're about to. <laughs> Somebody's going to put something on and change their life. Old is ready. Now, speaking of that avocado breakfast, I told you then. I said, man, you know, we get situated. We need to do us a segment called Heart to Heart. Yeah. Where we sit down with Heart periodically, just pick his brain on stuff. And here we are. We're going to do Heart to Heart in Colorado. You manifested it. Yeah, you got to manifest, man. You, you made, manifest. made it come true. So, Heart, your uh, spring is behind us. Yeah. Right, we're getting ready for this nine weeks of summer session. Uh, yeah. Looking back on the spring with your linebacker unit and transition, what, what's your outlook for your group? You know, um, I guess my outlook for my group is, is to always hit our, our goals, which is the smart, tough, fast, discipline with character. Mm -hmm. And I, I believe we had a lot of those guys in the room uh, when we first started and we got here. Uh, but you always want to see if you can get better. And you have to reach for that next goal. So my goal is to get better, smart, tough, fast, and disciplined guys in the room that can help us win. Yeah. Um, not speaking anything about the guys that were in there. Sure. But I think you always have to ask yourself, can you do better? And if you can, why aren't you? Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and I think that... That, that kind of rubs people the wrong way sometimes, but yeah. it's a business as, as well as a, a sport. It's entertainment. You don't sell out a spring game just because they like to watch football, man. They want winners. Yeah. They want change. They want inspiration. Boulder want something different for themselves. You know, opposite of smart is uh, dumb. Yeah. Opposite of fast is slow. Yeah. You know, opposite of discipline is undisciplined. Yeah. No one wants to see somebody dumb, slow, and undisciplined. Well, that's true. Yeah. Well, you know what? And it's not. And, and, and to my point, no one wants to see mediocrity. Mm -hmm. If you got somebody who's smart, fast, tough, and disciplined, but it's at a mediocre level or average level or a level just to get by, who wants to root for that? Yeah. Who wants to be a part of that? You know. And um, I think that's what I, I try to look for. I try to stay uncomfortable mm -hmm. and keep going. I was. You know what, man? It's funny you say that. I was reading this quote today and I was thinking it says the reasonable man adapts himself to the world the unreasonable one persists in trying to adapt the world to himself therefore all progress depends on the unreasonable man and then a, a little bit says it's time to put this to a maximum for yourself it's not enough to break the mold. So it's not enough just to be above average. Yeah. It's not enough to set even a new trend. 
you got to make progress for everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like throwing a rock into a lake. It's a ripple effect yeah. that happens, right? It expands out. So being unreasonable, being the one that will step out on the edge and do something that no one else to do yeah. or take on something that no one else to take on or perfect something that people already think is perfect how it already is. Mm -hmm. That's how progress happens. That's how the world moves forward. And that's one of the characteristics of the head coach, his staff, you personally, getting to know y'all. Of course, knowing you a couple of years now, yeah. is that, you know, I can remember the Jack State days, undefeated wasn't good enough. It wasn't. Like if we won and it was 21-14, <laughs> and although that's a, you know, it's part of the undefeated process, you're looking at the points we left out that the tackles we didn't make. Most people mm -hmm. will be like, man, we're undefeated, can't get no better. Mm -hmm. You know, but this guy will make changes even when he's undefeated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think you have to. I think in coaching you have to. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of coaches have to take that on because you got to think, okay, I won 21-14 this game. I had some mistakes. It's somebody getting this film. And they watching this film. Yeah. And they looking, yeah, they won. But how can we capitalize on the mistakes they win and turn this in our favor? Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can't stand still. You got to keep moving. Being in Colorado, it's, it's, I don't know what you call it. I wasn't good at English. I don't know if it's a metaphor or a simile. I don't know what it is. Both of them work. Both of them work? Yeah, both of them but work. But you think about being in Colorado, man, every time I drive in here, bro, I see the mountains and the different elevations of the mountains. Yeah. And one peak ain't high enough than the other peak. Hell, I got to go back down the mountain I'm on to go back up to the high peak. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. And you see that, and it's a constant reminder to me, man. Every time I walk in, every time there's a computer on, brother. I gotta be unreasonable. Hmm. I love it. I love <laughs> it. If this was like, if this was printed on a meme on on on, on the gram or something, they'd say, "Read that again." Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> read that again. What they say in the church? <laughs> Sad pastor. <laughs> they ain't hear you in the back. We might drop the prime organ in right there. <laughs> yeah. So you know, transitioning now into, into summer ball. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, with Charles Kelly, defense coordinator, naturally linebacker play. The the entire defense has an expectation, but linebackers really have a major role in it. Uh, what steps in that process do you have to take between now and week one to get those guys ready for that role? We got to be crisp on our fundamentals. I have to be make sure that I look at the small details and get those right. I need to understand that playbook inside and out. All the concepts, the terminology that we put in, you know, it needs. I need to be able to speak like Charles Kelly, mm -hmm. like our DC, um, and and that'll make him comfortable, and that'll make the guys comfortable because they're gonna hear one voice. If we can do that, that breeds confidence in the player. Playing football myself, that breeds confidence. When my position coach, my DC, are all on the same page, my uh, my DB coach, that coaches the DBs, all of us are saying the same thing, mm -hmm. preaching and singing out the same hymn. As a player, that gives me confidence to go out there and and play and be successful yeah so that's the biggest thing is taking care of those little things because we got great players and the great players are going to do what they do and make great plays we just need to take care of the little details that they need to make sure um, that they're successful um movies right yeah you think about spy movies and action movies right there's always the action guy he out there he kicking ass the woman or whatever they doing their thing boom fighting jumping out of buildings on the helicopters all kinds of shit but there's a mic in his ear and that man is a guy, usually the funny guy, whoever, yeah, he's in the he car. Back the truck, he's yeah. back in the truck. <laughs> he's giving all the details, yeah. right? He's making sure the coordinates, how they get yeah. through the building, all that's right. That's what we do. We in the truck. We got the headset on. We give them the coordinates. We give mm -hmm. them the details. And then we let the players be the action hero. I love it. So I love it. We got to do that right. Yeah, but this is Mission Possible. We can do this. Oh, I like yeah. that, dog. Yeah, this is Mission Possible. We got I like that. that. Mission Possible. Yeah. Just a matter. One thing I hear... Uh, your DC coach Kelly say all the time, it's simple, but that don't mean it's easy. Because the repetition of it is what gets people. Mm -hmm. You know, um, a lot of folks can't keep hammering over and over, day in, day out. You know, mm -hmm. uh, it's it's a it's an easy thing. This play is easy to design, it's easy to execute, but can you do it five hundred times? Mm -hmm. You know, and and look for new details. You know, one one of the things I love Bruce Lee said. He said. I don't fear the man Come on. who's done a thousand kicks. Take me to I church, fear the man. man who's done one kick a thousand times. Yes, sir. 
And, and that's, that's what, what this process is. I'm pointing this way, right. I feel that way. So, yeah, I see, I see that in y'all. That's, that's exactly it. right. Yeah. I love that quote by Bruce Lee, man. He's got another one he talks about be like water. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Formless, shapeless. Yes. Every, you know, you put it in the cup, it becomes the cup. Yeah. You put it in the river, it makes the river. Mm -hmm. It makes the stream. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's going to take the path water. of least resistance. Path of least resistance, man. Be like water, man. That's exactly right. It's all right, old hearty heart. Now, one thing we got to talk about now. Got these beautiful mountains behind us, beautiful Folsom Fields. Yeah, hey. Well, we got these ducks up here on the computer monitors. <laughs> you got to tell me about these ducks. <laughs> what are we doing with these ducks? Good observation, right? Okay, yeah. all right. So, <laughs> my ducks, man, these ducks let me know what type of day it's been today, man. These are my friends in here right now. So, okay. if I'm in here and things are going good, progress is going good, you should see, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. There should be five on each side. Ten ducks sitting up here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We're good to go. But if stuff ain't going right, man, I ain't got a problem today. You know what I'm saying? I might just <laughs> bang them there. And some ducks going to fall. Like life. Yeah. And when I leave today and I look at my, my ducks and I see what's left up there, I can count and make a percentage of what my day was like yeah, today. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on how hard I had to hit this desk. Depending on how hard I had to hit this desk. How many ducks still looking at me? How many ducks I still got in a row? Cliche right there. That is cliche. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't yeah. got many ducks in a row. I need to rethink my process. I need to get stuff back on track. I got my ducks in a row. Shh. Hey, man. Emotional intelligence. Yeah. I got some. I see so many folks when they hear y'all talk about the smart and tough, fast, smart, disciplined character, they think it like books. But, man, everything gets the emotional intelligence. How do you, how do you use your smarts? to not make bad situations worse or to make good situations great. You gotta get back to how we react to stuff. Uh, absolutely. That's exactly what it gets back to, how we react to stuff. Man. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think emotional intelligence is is, is uh, being in touch. I only know we can go this deep, now, nearly, but I think it's being in touch with your, your spiritual consciousness. Let's go there, yeah, let's go. You know what I'm saying? And, and understanding that, and you mm -hmm. know, when it tells you in moments to be still, that you should apply that, that second of thought to everything you do. Mm -hmm. Before you react to anything, you know what I'm saying? Peace, be still. You know, give yourself that second. Because he talking to you. Yeah. The inner yeah. God in you is talking to yeah. you. And it's saying what you need to do. But sometimes our emotions, right? Yeah. Because it's energy in motion. That's emotions. That's all it is. It's whatever that energy you feel that's built up in your chest, you want to let it out right now. Mm -hmm. But... You got to peace and be still for a second. Understand how to channel this thing. Yeah. I've always told, told folks when I when I read that scripture, it's like uh, for me, a couple of words are missing. So yeah. what I put in front of, if you want peace, be still. Like, I like guess like you got to be still. Like yeah. just take, take a breath. Take a breath. Don't be in a, in a hurry to move and just do things out of reaction to... to don't let somebody control you so much they can get you to react. Yeah. The same thing in football with, with personal files. Or, you know, there's going to be a play, bad play. Something uh, uh, Sean Lewis says all the time, so what, no, now what? Mm -hmm. You know, what? what's next? Mm -hmm. You know, and how do I just woosaw? You see what you just did right there? That's the whole thing. People ask me all the time, how do you peace be still? You got to breathe, man. Mm -hmm. You got to you gotta concentrate on your breathing. And that doesn't mean sit there and say, one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. If that helps you, if that's what yeah. you got to do. That's what you got to do. But what it means is take a conscious step to concentrate and remember you're breathing. Yeah. Right. And don't just breathe manually. A lot of people can breathe manually. We go through life just breathing. Mm -hmm. Don't even be thinking about it. Think about your breathing yeah. in that moment, and it'll give you such. I mean, it'll give you such an answer. The breath of life. You know what I'm saying? Man, by that, live by bread alone. All of that is in there. You gotta breathe, baby. You're looking at me like a sensei. Yeah, you know, I'm looking at you like it's over. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm looking at. It's just over. <laughs> yeah, man. But that's what you gotta do. That's how you do that. People make it hard. It's not hard. Just you know, breathe. let me give you a situation. Let me give you a sports metaphor analogy simile of what you just said. Win and run is on base. I hit this home run, right? We win. Mm -hmm. People in the dugout, they can't necessarily see the play, but that bat make a certain sound, and mm -hmm. you know it's gone. Mm -hmm. 
and you hear a certain crack, you be like, because you know, that was you just did right there. I heard it. Yeah. I know they. I know he hit that one out. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it went left or right, but that's, that's <laughs> a blue chip. Yeah, dog. I heard it. Yeah. Be still. Be still, breathe. man. Breathe. Listen. Breathe, baby. Yeah. That's it. Just yeah. breathe. Heart to heart. <laughs> My man. Right. All the time, baby. In this corner. Hey! <laughs> we got five dudes left. <laughs> Ooh.